These service members from the Wounded Warrior Program and their families were invited out for the day to 78 private acres with two large ponds outside Virginia Beach in Smithfield, Virginia. We are responsible for them and we are grateful for them and so being able to offer them a chance with their families to get out and breathe together is just, I think, hugely important and the biggest reason that I'm got the gates open, the codes are off, and everybody's welcome to come in today. The space and water allowed for them to engage in adaptive activities. They can swim, paddle boat, meet farm animals, learn to fly fish, shoot arrows, and more. Uh, well, we did, already did the kayaking, that was a lot of fun, and uh, we're about to go around and explore some of the other stuff, and we really enjoyed the outdoors, so this is an ideal uh, situation for us here. Fishing, caught a big one, caught about a 12 inch, never caught a fish and it was uh, exciting because it teaches, it teaches you how to be calm, <laughs> to be honest, very patient, you know, compared to what we go through on a daily basis. And that was the main purpose of the day, for them and their family members to get out from the clinics and daily routines. You get to be around other wounded warriors and, and um, just in an in a informal setting and, and relaxed enough to uh, uh, talk uh, with families and things going through <coughs> similar um, events. Many volunteers and organizations came out to inform the wounded warriors of the programs and offer information on things that can benefit them and their quality of life. They also prepared a barbecue lunch for everyone. You really can't find the words because these are people taking their time to come here. You know, they're not being paid, they're nothing. It's just people doing it to come and help you out and help everybody else out, not just me, everybody. Events like this one happen several times a year for those in the Wounded Warrior Program, allowing everyone a chance to attend. Well, we live kind of far away, so it's harder for us to get to these types of things. So when we do get to come, like, and he gets to talk to other people that, and other families, especially just seeing like how we can be back together and it'll be normal instead of crazy military stuff all the time, like this is more just downtime for us and it's nice. Reporting from Smithfield, Virginia, I'm Army Sergeant Michael Dan.